So I bought myself some things from Brandy Melville, just for no reason at all, other than I felt like it and I wanted a little bit of like a retail therapy. I don't know. I just was walking by. I saw this like really cute shirt and that's what brought me in. And I ended up buying it too. So I thought I'd just show you a quick little clothing haul. I'm also typically like, I don't like to spend a lot of money on clothes and I'm usually really good about it. Recently though, I've been buying myself more clothes than normal, but I think that's acceptable. I think once in a while, you know, you go through phases. And also I'm trying to replace a lot of my like pajamas that I've always had since like high school and college with more like cute pajamas. Like even this tank top I got already from Brandy Melville, I was like, I could sleep in this as well. It's really just like cute, comfortable. And even though I love a big baggy t-shirt, like I'm that kind of pajama person, I, I don't know, I don't know. Sometimes like sleeping in something cute just makes me feel so much better about myself. So anyways, I bought these things as like multi-purpose, throw on kind of casual shirts and also like fun little pajama. So this was the shirt that grabbed my attention and made me walk in. It's a cute little <laughs> baby dinosaur. <laughs> I don't know if eventually I'll get too old for this, but this just, it really feels in tune with my inner child. Like young Morgan would have wanted this little cute little shirt. It's just so, ah, <laughs> I love it. And then for summer, I also got these just like easy casual kind of like hanging out sweat shorts, but I was also like, oh, I can, you know, run around in them too. Um, and they weren't that expensive. They were like $20. And they're comfortable so they're a little tight around the waist but i always feel like this stuff stretches pretty well and this is a very mini haul when it comes to clothing but i also got this tank i've been really loving just like floral and lacy kind of pieces i realized as a person my style is more like flirty cute flirty and like elegant maybe like i like a lot of basic pieces too like this basic tank. I also kind of like boho. But anyways, I'm leaning really into my like, <laughs> I almost said clarty side, but I was like, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> cute and flirty side <laughs> is what I was trying to say. And the last thing I got from Brandy Melville was just a cute little scrunchie because I don't own any scrunchies. And I was like, I, I feel like it'd be cute to try to like tie my hair up and have a cute little like scrunchie poking out. So I'll try it and let you know how it looks. Maybe I'll like add a photo here or something when I do it. Now for kind of a product haul. I have bought this before and I'm gonna get myself another refill because I'm really liking it. This bum bum cream is like gonna be the go-to for summer. I really recommend trying it. It smells amazing. Some people hate it because it kind of smells like coconutty and like fruity coconutty tropical. I don't know how else to explain it. Maybe kind of like papaya-y and creamy. I don't know, but I really, really like this. And I'm gonna be using this lotion like all summer. Love it. And then I also bought myself this from Target. I was going for like a summer vibe. So as I'm transitioning into that, right? Cause it's May. So would you consider May summer or spring? I guess that's where you live, right? Anyways. I got this Papaya Paradise and it's a little body scrub and I swear my skin smells so good after using this. I like to use like an exfoliant. I used to never exfoliate my skin, but now I use this, especially before like self tanning. I like really exfoliate my whole body. And I also like to use this after like a really sweaty workout. So maybe like, maybe twice a week I'll use this or two or three times a week. I try not to do it too much because I don't want to over exfoliate my skin and maybe like make it drier by doing that. I don't know. I've just heard over exfoliating is bad. Maybe I'll find the reason why and put it here, but I use this maybe like two or three times a week and I just really like the smell. So that's why I got it. <laughs> Another product that I've gotten for summer, but also just because I tend to have a skin tone, skin tone, skin type that like can be somewhat oily and depending on the weather, you know, I shouldn't really be using too much lotion on my face or like too much moisture. So my aunt actually recommended this and I've been using it recently on my skin and I swear like my skin has never felt 
better. And I think this offers like a really light hydration that's not overpowering and it's not like gonna make my skin try to fight it, if that makes sense. So I'm really been liking this and I'm probably gonna go end up buying like a bigger one, but really liking this one. Last thing I bought in the product department is I bought this pore cleansing clay mask to try and I've recently just been really liking it. A lot of the time when I use those sheet masks, my skin gets like really dry the next day. It's very weird. It kind of does the opposite effect of what you think a sheet mask would do. So this has actually been really great for me and I'm gonna continue using it. But those are just like the products I've bought recently and have tried out. Okay, now it's time to finish up packing. I'm gonna leave soon to drive to LA and visit my friend in Santa Monica, and we're gonna go out to dinner tonight. We're gonna go to Din Tai Fung, which I'm really excited for. Um, so yeah, I'll take you with me in my little weekend. Okay, these are my car snacks that I had while driving to LA. Every time I drink one of these, I feel like a little baby, but also the prosciutto and cheese, oh, so good. We love a little girls night out with a cheeky little lychee martini. And I dropped our order from Din Tai Fung down in the description if you want to find out what everything we ordered and what I recommend. Also, are you the type of person that like swallows it whole like me or do you bite a hole in it first, drink it, and then eat it? <laughs> also, if you're going to the Din Tai Fung in America, I highly recommend getting the chocolate dumplings. Oh my god, they're so good. After walking and getting ourselves a lala latte, we went and tried this bagel place that we both have never been to before. We shared the Laika and the Scarlet bagels. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> After coffee and breakfast in Santa Monica, I drove down to OC for my friend's birthday party where we went on a Duffy boat, had some margaritas, and then later that night got some french fries. It's currently Sunday noon, and I haven't worked out at all this weekend, but that's okay. These are my two little rest days for my week of workouts. I am meeting someone to go play frisbee with, and that'll be like a little workout in a way. Um, just like walking around and throwing a frisbee can actually feel quite active, so I'm excited about it. Also, this is the first time I've ever styled my hair like this, and I really... I really like it. I feel like I should do this more often. It's really cute. <laughs> I didn't film that much this weekend because I was busy filming my week of workouts, which you can watch on my YouTube channel if you haven't already. But thank you so much for watching this quick little vlog and I hope to see you in the next video.